Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, I'm still doing kind of some emails I'd gotten, and I got off on a rabbit trail. Uh, one of my friends uh, emailed me and said, hey, would you give us some biblical passages that maybe you read a bit differently because you're a lawyer? And it sent me down a rabbit trail, so I'm kind of doing that. Today, I want to look at Isaiah chapter 43, verse 26. Now, in this passage, there's a bunch of legal terminology, but also legal ideas floating around. If the Old Testament prophet Isaiah is speaking on behalf of God. And Isaiah says, review the past for me. Let us argue the matter together. State the case for your innocence. Now, imagine that you're standing in front of the, the highest court in the land. You are facing the supreme judge. Your fate hangs in the balance. The judge looks at you and says, make your case. I got to tell you, as a lawyer, your heart races. What are you going to say? How are you going to do it? Well, God takes that type of language, that scenario, and sets it down and says, review the past for me. You know, show me your evidence. Let's argue the matter. Here was the deal. Israel had been very corrupt. Judah had been corrupt before God. They had not lived under their agreements with God, and, and, and God is going to hold them in judgment. God says, you don't like it. Well, review the evidence. State your case. Argue the matter. Show me your innocence. Of course, they would never be able to do that because they weren't innocent. Now, I look at this and I apply this very personally. Um, if God were to call me in front of him and say, okay, you want my blessings, you want my love, you want my support, you want my protection, you want my provision, you want my eternal life, you want my dot, 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 fill in the blank, review the evidence, review the past, argue the matter, and show me why you deserve it. I got to tell you, that'd be a pretty short trial because I'd have to say, I, I, I really don't deserve it. If any of us thinks we deserve the love of God, then we're guilty of, of pride and arrogance, which are abominable sins. You see, that's the, 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 the message of the Bible is that God has mercy and he has love that's not deserved, but that proceeds out of his character. He doesn't love us because we have earned his love. He loves us because he chooses to love those whom he created. And when we accept that, and understand that. And as a Christian, we, we see the greatest example of that in Christ on the cross, saying, I will personally pay the price for your inadequacies, for your sin. It's at that point that we are moved and we understand God's mercy and forgiveness and, and receive it in a fresh way. So I read this passage in Isaiah and I come to a very humbling truth. I can never prove my righteousness before him, but it doesn't leave me in despair. Instead, it drives me to embrace his love, his mercy, and his forgiveness each day. I urge you to do the same. That's why I've made this your video thought for today.